Hey guys, how's it going? Miso here, back with another episode in the Nostalgia series. And today we are going to be going over Ace Online, or you know, back in the day was Space Cowboys Online, or after that, Air Rivals Online. This game has been sw switched hands, swapped hands, it's, just, it's swapped hands many, many times. It's been closed down twice. And this is the only iteration of it up that is an official server. Um, right now we are playing on my original character that I played on back then, Miso Soup. And um, this character didn't get super far um, because this game, like I said, it was shut down once, opened up again. And then this server was, um, Ace Online was running on the same, it was running at the same time as Air Rivals. And people kind of, uh, some people went to Air Rivals. I did play Arrivals for a bit, and then my friends decided they wanted to move over to Ace Online when that came out, so I did made the swap, and here we are with my level 73 I gear. So as you can see here, I played a good a bit, good bit back then. 1,300 fame, especially for the beginning, the game was pretty good, um, and 73 was pretty good as well. Um, right now, I think people. From what I've seen online, get to a hundred or so in a month, which is unheard of. <laughs> um, but yeah, this game seems to have somewhat of a decent population. Um, it's hard to tell because people don't really, at least from what I can tell when I've logged on, people haven't really chatted that much um, in the world chat or trade chat, which is where people usually chatted back in the day. But you know, looking at the war points, it goes up pretty consistently every time I log on um, so that means war points you know for those of you guys who played means PvP, open world PvPing every time you kill somebody in the open world on the other nation you get war points so yeah it seems like there's a decent player blade player base but mostly foreign player bases so from that I'm speaking from the perspective of a person who lives in the USA um, I think a lot of people from Europe play People from Russia play, people from the Philippines, some parts of Asia, South America play. But in terms of the US population, I don't think there's a huge US population. So there's a little bit of that. Um, this character, I think, may have gotten hacked because when I logged on, it looked like this. Uh, I don't think the radar was even on. So it was like that. So like it was kind of stripped. I'm pretty sure I had a better weapon than this. I found this in my storage. Like I think I was using this for like leveling up or something at some point. So I think I might have gotten hacked, uh, which sucks. But what can you do, right? Um, this stuff, kind of stuff happens all the time. Less so these days. Um, but yeah, let me just check my warehouse one more time to see if I have anything else. It doesn't look like I really have anything else that could be used. Yeah, unfortunately not. Like, usually I, I played a good bit of this game. I had a good bit of kill marks saved up and things like that. Things have changed a lot in this game, I know that. Um, so, I really don't know much about it right now. Um, I forgot a lot of the things as well. Um, there's like the entire town itself changed, right? I'm on BCU right now when I. I used to be on, I think, A&I on this character, but when I first started this, playing this game in, in Space Cowboys, I was on BCU, so I wanted to relive that nostalgia, but I came back and this place looks completely different from what it did back in the day. So, yeah. Um, let's kind of get flying, I guess. Kind of revisiting some of the nostalgic areas. I remember... The number one nostalgic area is um, Bark and the Den, so I'm probably going to visit there. I'm going to look for the warp. I think this is the teleporter right now. Um, yep, so let's just go to Red Line. And then we're going to go Combat Zone just because, I don't know. We'll, we'll see if I come come on to anybody. I know on the calendar there is a mothership coming, coming in like three hours or something like that. So there should be a 
some people on at least right now. Maybe closer to the mothership there will be more, but we'll see. Um, yeah, man. I loved this game back in the day. This was... So I had quit MapleStory because, I don't know, my cousin who I played a lot um, of games with back in the day um, got told by his friend that this was an awesome game and they quit MapleStory for it. So we both quit MapleStory for this. And oh my god, this was so much fun. To be completely honest, if Space Cowboy did not shut down, I might still even be playing this game to this day. Like, if people are still playing it right now, pe the, the game itself didn't get shut down, I would have been playing this. You know, maybe not very consistently, who knows? Maybe I just log on for motherships and things like, that, things like that. But this game was so much fun. And as you can see, there's still some, you know, formation, some things being put together. So there's people playing, but oh my god, I love this game so much. Um, and this Exorcist Binder was so cool when it first came out. Actually, you know, I, I'm gonna change up my settings. Oh crap, I didn't kill that thing because I don't have good weapons and good equipment. So maybe I'll just run into Den real quick and, uh, yeah. Oh man, I still remember this game, you know, feathering and all that stuff. Like, it just feels like I never left the game <laughs> because it just, I played it so much that everything was just, uh, second nature to me. Now, let's see, where is this, uh, dual, blah, 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 maintain what was on the front, there we go. See, that was the thing, if you didn't, if you were a scrub, you would have that on, but I'm not a scrub, so I'm gonna keep that off. <laughs> so what that is, is just basically makes it so that, you know, if you're horizontal, maintaining horizontal means just like, you know, if you're flying sideways, it'll make sure your plane is upright. Whereas if you turn that off, you can um, have more control of your gear, your plane. But also, it um, if you're flying at a certain angle back then, I'm probably sh I'm sure it's the same these days as well. Um, it'll you it can actually break the speed of your engine. So your engine itself has a max speed, and if you fly at a certain angle, you can basically fly faster than what your engine lets you do. But yeah. Um, doesn't look like there's really anybody here. See, this back in the day, everybody would be here because it's kind of like the main neutral zone, right? You come here and this zone is not owned by anybody. It's not owned by BCU, it's not owned by ANI, the two nations. So, um, people would just hang out here and this would be a good grinding place, place as well, I think for like level 50s or so. And people would just hang out here and war all the time and you would constantly be like wondering like who owns Bark, who doesn't own Bark at the moment, and then, you know, depending on that, you would be able to come to train or you wouldn't be able to train. Because this place also doesn't have a neutral, like a safe channel either. So you can't necessarily go outside of PvP. So there's like two channels, right? Usually, I think. There's like channel 0 and channel 1. Channel 0 is the... Um, the neutral channel where you, it's like a PvP zone and you, you can see people from the other nation, they can attack you, things like that. But channel one was a safe zone where you can just sit and grind without worrying about people attacking you. So, yeah. Oh my God. I love this game so much. Like, honestly, I I think for me, for probably for a future video, I'll probably go over Maple Story as well, because that is kind of the game that I, in my mind, first comes into mind when I think about my favorite game of all time because I, you know, still play it on and off. But honestly, if I think of like the best time I've had playing games, like this was probably it. And I went, oh crap, I'm on Den B. I was trying to go to Den A. Um, but yeah, this was would probably be it because I just. I don't know, I got introduced to Ventrilo through this, I, you know, met a bunch of people through this, I at one point was in the top guild, where, or not guild, for brigade, um, and we were, we had the president or whatever the leader, whatever it was called in our brigade, and we 
did a lot. I was in the I was in Joy Miss server in uh, Space Cowboys Online SEO, and I was in the Guild Legends Never Die. If any of you guys remember that, <laughs> if you're on the Joy Miss server, but yeah, it doesn't look like there's really too much people playing. But it's like this game is like, especially compared to its heyday, pretty damn dead. I see people uploading YouTube videos about this game and fairly recently too, so that's why I think it's like not completely dead and there's people playing it. But like as you can see, I'm like running through these maps, running through these places and I'm like just not encountering anybody. So I don't know. And let's hope I don't die. Oh I overheated because my feathering is not as on point as it back as it was back in the day, but it's okay. We don't need to go that fast right now. Um, because there's nobody chasing us. Maybe we, we might want to, actually no, there's probably scouts, or whatever they're called, scout guards near the pad, so I'm probably not going to go over there. Um, I might just be stop and then eat some kits. There we go. Oh god, there's a scout guard there. Uh, yeah, I don't have the best gear right now. Oh, not even best gear, but I don't even have decent gear right now because I got hacked, so I get take a lot of damage and you know, just kind of, kind of wrecked. Rock this bottom, oh my god. Oh, this is also nostalgic. I wonder if I'll run in, in, into anybody. I feel like I won't. I don't even know where everybody like hangs around anymore. Um, oh my god, you remember you used to... So I used to play a B gear in um, SCO, Space Cowboys Online. So I would um, be able to use GBM on a lot of these guys. I really... I don't know. For me, back in the day, I really envied I gears because one, I didn't, I didn't play I gear. So, you know, I didn't really know how it felt. Uh, well, obviously this is an iGear, right? But uh, back in the day, I never played iGear, so I didn't really know how it felt, and I always envied it because, I don't know, if you had an evasion iGear, it was just so strong, right? Like, you would be able to avoid everything. You'd take, like, everybody would be missing on you unless you had really good gear. Um, and it was just so cool. You were just, like, this fast, like, you know, mobile gear flying around nobody will be able to hit you you'd be chain rolling everywhere um and you were the fastest gear right you had the fastest engines and everything so it was definitely super cool to be an eye gear back in the day um yeah which is why when i came over to ace online i ended up making an eye gear because I just thought it was super dope. And I don't really have any shield kits, unfortunately. So, whatevs. Um, what else is there about this game? I don't know, there's just so many memories going into this game. So many, so many exciting times going to strategic points, going to war points, or, or motherships, things like that. It was just... It was the game, all right. <laughs> it didn't have a huge player base ever. It was a very niche game in the end of the day and not that many people played. Like in the grand scheme of things, not that many people played it, which is probably why it died. And it was so pay to win back in the day, but you know, still I, okay. Do you know the last in, if you watched my last nostalgia series, you, I told the story about me going to the store and buying, you know, like going behind my mom because she didn't like me buying like game things or digital games. I went to the store like after we finished shopping and told her I needed to go to the bathroom or something to go in and spend my uh, money to buy a Visa gift card to, you know, get currency for a game. And it was this game. I wanted some trails for my missiles. Um, so basically those missiles, there's little trails at the end, yet you could buy some custom trails for that. And so I went and did that. And I think I might have bought some like EXP boosters or something like that, I forget. But 
it was such a cool game. Something that I never got tired of, to be honest. I, n I didn't quit this game because I got bored. I quit this game because... Oh, I mean, I'm just thinking back. Why did I even quit this game? I think it's because my friends stopped playing. Yeah, I think I quit this game because my friends stopped playing. And a lot of them stopped playing because of that transition over to Ace Online. You know, it's just hard. Like, you know, you have your gear, you have all your stuff, you spent so much time and money on this game, and to have it all just disappear is tough. Like, your gear, your character is basically like an extension of yourself in a way. It's, you know, you spent your time, a lot of hours playing this game. You spent a lot of energy, a lot of love you gave this character, your gear, whatever. And because of that, it just disappears and it's, it's a loss for sure. Um, yeah. Now, Violence Blizzard was one of the newer areas in this game. Um, this was one of the maps I was at later on. And when I'm looking at this game, right, when I go to the patches, like, this game literally hasn't been patched since 2016. Like, there has been no updates for this game. Which is kind of crazy that there's still people playing this game despite the fact there has been no updates. Uh, I just, I don't know. I really wish that this game were still popular because I would 100% still be playing this game. This game was so grindy back in the day and I think they've made it a little bit less grindy now. And you know, that way it's more about warring, which was what I loved doing. Going around, going to wars, attacking the other nation, PvPing, things like that. This was the game. And because of this game, I convinced myself that I loved PvP and I loved open world PvP. So after that, when I was looking for new games to play, I like looked for a bunch of games that were like open world PvP, things like that. But it just I just never got into those because I don't think I was into open world PvP per se, but just like into the gameplay of this game and the type of fighting that you get to do in this game. It honestly it's just like there's the huge community aspect, you know everybody in the nation, you know everybody in the other nation, like people would often like create quote unquote spies to go to the other nation. You're like, hey, you know, you, you'd like spy on people, right? But you also like tell them like, hey, I'm so-and-so on the other nation. And everybody would be like, oh, you, yo, what's up, dude? Or like, you know, hey, yo, you suck. <laughs> I hate you. You keep killing me in wars. Or just like, it was such a tight-knit game because of the size of the community, because of, I don't know, and also the, 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 the age group of the people playing it were also like older. Like I was in middle school slash high school at the time I was playing this and everybody that played this was in their 20s. Like my entire brigade, except for like one guy, was like in their 20s at the time. And why is it auto maintain flight? Oh wait, apply. Okay. Um, yeah, it was just not doing the thing that I said to do earlier. Because now, there we go. But yeah, like, I don't know. It, this game just has so many memories, so many good memories associated with it. And I, you know, I don't know, me going through this nostalgic series is kind of a way for me to relive those memories, right? Kind of a way for me to think back to the good times. <laughs> Not that now isn't like a good time, but like, you know when you're a kid, it's like everything is like fun and happy, right? You're, you're just thinking about yourself, you're thinking about how to, you know, make the most out of it every day in terms of like having fun. You didn't really have too many worries. At least, maybe that's just because I'm a little more privileged, because I, you know, had a good background growing up. But it's just like when you're a kid, 
You're sitting in front of your computer and that's it. That's all you're thinking about. That's all you have to worry about. You, your computer, your character. <sighs> yeah. But unlike FlyFF, there's not really too much for me to explore other than these maps because there's really not that many people playing it. Unfortunately, I wish I had my gear. Like in terms of my items, I wish I didn't get hacked so I could still kind of show off a little bit of, of like, you know, I guess higher level areas maybe, or like, you know, if there were people playing this game, I could um, still, you know, maybe go to go to some sort of war and kill somebody and, you know, relive that experience, but unfortunately, I don't have that luxury. Um, wow, these guys are actually kind of high level, they're like red. Um, and I doubt I'd be able to do much damage to them because my gear is not very good. Oh, and there's the, oh, the boss is here. Black Widow. I remember these bosses, like, they would always be down. You would be camping these because they have, like, a chance to drop some good items. Ugh. Oh, look. Some people are actually talking in war chat, which is, um, cool. So yeah, this game does have people playing it, which is, you know, like I mentioned before, I think just in another time zone. So yeah, I'm going to kill myself here because I just want to go back to town and I don't have a town scroll or whatever. So I'm going to do that. And then maybe we'll go to the moon. I think that was a pretty nostalgic area for me as well. I just don't know what any of these things do. <laughs> and yeah, upgrading your weapons back in the day, so pay to win. This game was so pay to win, but back in the day, everything was pay to win, right? So you really didn't have a choice. Um, not Castle Corona, not like, uh, oh wow, I can, oh wait, Town Channel was the first map, that's right. Um, where is the moon? Can I not? Go to the moon? I don't know. I don't remember. I'm I'm trying to think like was there a situation where you couldn't go to the moon because somebody had taken over it or something like that? I don't think so. I don't know. Oh well, let's just go to I don't Whatever, let's just go through our own, own areas. Let's just kind of go through like our own areas in our nation because this is also kind of nostalgic because you'd be leveling up and grinding up. This is where you first come out. Like this was like the beginning of the game where you try to learn how to play the game and level up. Hmm. So many good memories. I think a mothership was also, might have been here or in Thailand Jungle, I forget. Or maybe you could choose the map. I think it was here though, because it's like your innermost map, right? And then people will be trying to break through the different maps to get to you, get to your mothership and destroy it. <sighs> Thailand Jungle, Horny and King's Habitat, that came in later. Let's just take a final stroll through this game. Go through, go from here to Den, fly from here to Den A, and then we'll call it a day, I guess. Uh, and excuse me, I'm drinking some tea right now, which is why you might be hearing me sipping something. And also, whenever I transition to the next map. I would be making some noise. But yeah, I remember here, oh my god, Bok Mountain was such a great place to fight people because you'd be able to bob and weave through these different cliffs and then be able to shake off enemies, shake off missiles, things like that. Oh my god. This was like such a fun place to do open world PvP. Whenever there was an SP here, a strategic point, or like a you know, mothership and you'd be defending Bach, like this was so much fun. Like 
this game was just such high octane, right? You're just like flying so fast throughout the, through the air, running away from missiles, running away from enemies chasing you. You'd have like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten enemies on at, on you at once sometimes, and then out of nowhere you pull like a big old like back turn, whatever back turn back whatever this crap is called and you just blow them up oh gosh so i think it's tabm turn around back move maneuver or something like that <sighs> like honestly guys if you're if you're watching this video and you know i don't know you have some sort of influence within the game world please make a game like this this is i don't know i think there's so much promise to there was so much promise to this game and maybe because it was so pay to win you know a lot of people were turned off from it or like didn't get that far in it or eventually quit this game but the game the pvp in this game was so much fun and the community aspect of it really just uh, made everything amazing. Zalo Beach, let's see if Pathos is up. Probably is, because nobody plays this game. And probably to get some items to get from Pathos is not very good these days. Um, yeah, I think you used to be able to get like a really good B gear missile. The pathos. I don't remember. Or it might have been like the eye gear arrow. There were like some legendary items back in the day that like were so expensive and so good, and anybody who had them was like immediately like super cool and like a pro basically. Huh, surprisingly, pathos might be down. Maybe people do still kill it. But it's like usually just like this huge ship in the middle of, you know, this map. Crap, I'm gonna overheat again, because my feathering is off. Um, that people would hunt and kill for these items. So maybe it is, maybe these people do still take down. Maybe people are playing. And uh, you know what, if you're playing right now, let me know how the game is. Let me know it is worth our time to reinvest, you know, worth my time to reinvest time into this because I still think, have a very fond and vivid memory of this game and miss this game a lot. Yeah, um, you know what, I think maybe what I'll do is... I'm gonna, how close are we? Oh, I think that right next is red line. Yep, next is red line. So let's just make our way to red line real quick and then make our way to um, 10B and then we'll call it from there. And this is where we kind of start off our video. Yeah, unfortunately we didn't run into anybody while playing this. We didn't run into a friendly unit or an enemy unit, you know, gear at all while playing this. So, kind of the state of the game, I guess. Hmm. Well, here's another entry into the... Actually, you know what? Let's do this. This is... This was one thing that I haven't done since hopping into this game, and I don't know if it's... For some reason it feels kind of nostalgic to me, even though it's not. <laughs> it's just a, such a small part of the game, but let's do this. And I don't know if you guys have any idea as to what I'm trying to do, but... Looking for Turkish clan. Yeah, see, like, people are still playing this, but it's just like all foreign people. Oh, God. And they can like move around down here like this. <laughs> oh, this is so jank. Like, why is this a thing? And why does my plane like have one leg up or something? I don't know. Oh, gosh. 
This was the game, guys. If you didn't play this game back in the day and you were like playing games around this time, you missed out big time. <laughs> All right, well, that was the game. That was Ace Online slash Space Cowboy slash Air Rivals, whatever you want to call it, whatever iteration there is. I know there's a private server that people play on as well, but yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. I know this is like not the most popular series out there and most people come here from Exos Heroes content, um, but this, these like nostalgia series are so much fun to do. It's just like a trip down memory lane, you know, and kind of an homage to my childhood. But yeah, yeah, as always, if you like this, if you enjoy this, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, give it a thumbs down. Tell me why. Um, and hopefully I can address those concerns. And uh, if you enjoy my content overall and want to hear more from me, consider hitting the subscribe button. But until next time, guys, peace out. So as I mentioned earlier, the mothership was today. So I decided to log on really quickly to check it out. And it looks like the mothership, well, it's not down yet per se, um, but all the the strategic points, the SPs are down. Um, but I think the mothership might still be up. So I'm gonna head to Thailand Jungle and see if we see, oh well, it's crowded here. So there's definitely a lot of people. Um, so let's see how things are looking. So here's the mothership. Looks like we are, it's still up completely. Nobody's touched it, which is nice. Um, I think people are probably at the portal at, at Bach. Um, probably camping it is my assumption. So let's take a look. Uh, and God, stupid mothership uh, music thing. So the one thing that I remember, which was cool. There we go, I can turn the BGM down. Oh wait, what? Oh, it's because I didn't um, press OK. Apply, there we go. But yeah, so it looks like there are people here. Lots of people, people are camping. Um, I mean, there's not really that much people, right? I wonder if there's more people in Bach. Um, should I head back to town and see if there are people? I don't know. Because I feel like the moment that I go into Bach, right, I'm just gonna get floored by some somebody. Um, man, this is definitely nothing compared to what the game was in the past, right? There definitely was a lot more people. Um, looks like somebody might have just ported in, yep. Um, but the gears definitely look a lot different than they did back in the day. Like, well, not that much different. I think the armors, at least around when I quit, were about these armors as well. Um, but there's some interesting ones. Like, the you see the, the leader, Hypermall? He has an interesting uh, armor. Um, but yeah, most of the armors are pretty similar, at least for the B gears and I gears. Um, I am going to fly through and uh, YOLO. We'll see how this goes. Uh, zero, interesting. There's, maybe there's just not that many people here. Oh, okay. So it looks like there's a couple dead bodies around here. There's, is there another kind of wave of defense here is my question. Like, is there another like form of people set up to camp this gate? No, I mean, there's like a gears here and like one I gear, I guess, but really, yeah, it's kind of sad because it really doesn't seem like there's all that many people here. Actually, one other thing, I think there's two entrances to Thailand, so maybe um, another one? There's a, so there's a teleporter. They haven't activated this teleporter yet, looks like. Um, so let's go back to Thailand, and then we will see if there are people on the other portal camping it. But so far, so uncrowded <laughs> uh, man it is sad 
I was hoping that there would be more people playing, and there's really nothing. Because Horning Kings have that, there's n it's not like there's an entrance here from the A and I side. So that I'm a little bit disappointed by. <sighs> I was hoping that maybe there'd be like two lines of defense, but it doesn't look like that is the case. All right, well, that's it. See you guys.